By the year 2070, the number of Muslims could equal the number of Christians around the world. That's according to a study by the Pew Research Center. Over the next four decades, Christians will still be the largest religious group, but Islam will grow faster than any other major religion and make up 30 percent of the world's population. We're joined by Conrad Hackett, Associate Director of Research and Senior Demographer at Pew Research Center to help us break down the study. Conrad, your study shows the religious landscape in the world is changing at a very rapid rate, relatively speaking. Give us a snapshot of what the trends are and what's going to happen by 2050. Well, the biggest pattern is that while Christians are the largest group in the world, Muslims are growing fastest, twice as fast as the world's population, about twice as fast as Christians, who are roughly keeping pace with global population growth. And in the decades ahead, eventually, we think that if we go out a little bit beyond 2050, that Muslims will eventually outnumber Christians when we get to about the year 2075 or so. It's very interesting. We have a graph that shows that, that we want to show, it gives you a little bit more detail about the population growth. Uh, it shows, as you were saying about Muslims, the only major religious group projected to have that increase at a faster rate. Christianity is number two, but it's so far down when you just look at the graph itself. What exactly is happening with the growth rate of Christianity itself? Christians are growing rapidly in some parts of the world, but in Europe, for example, which a hundred years ago was where two out of three Christians lived, the population hasn't kept pace, and in recent years there have been more Christians dying than babies born to Christians in Europe in particular. Uh, so there's kind of a geographic shift away from Europe and towards Africa in particular and Asia Pacific where Christian populations are growing. And the growth in those other regions is why globally Christians are outpacing all religious groups except for Muslims as far as growth goes. So it's a mix of, of a decline in some parts of the world, Western nations as a share of the population, but then growth in the global south. One other interesting factor here in this study has to do with conversion from one religion to another and how that kind of factors in. Tell me a little bit about how you calculate conversions and uh, what religions are growing in terms of converting. Yeah, we looked at survey data where people tell us the religion they were raised in and their religion today. And there's religious change in many different directions. But the biggest pattern in the 70 countries where we have such data is that there are a lot of people in these countries who say they grew up Christian and now no longer identify with a religion. Um, and as far as other religions go, there's movement in and out, but the biggest movement is, is from Christianity to the ranks of the unaffiliated. Yeah, or, or the nuns, atheists, yes, yes, that sure. kind of thing. Very interesting, and I know that you guys will continue to calculate this, like I said, for, for the decades to come. Conrad Hackett, Pew Research Center, thanks so much for talking with us. My about. pleasure, thank you.